as we look at the satellite imagery, we keep seeing this this thing kind of rounding our way. We see some green on live Doppler 7. You've been talking about the last couple days, Nicole. Yeah, slow and steady. We're watching this area of low pressure that's going to bring our next chance for rain into the Miami Valley. And you can see there are some showers that are stretching from Pennsylvania back into western parts of Virginia and either northwestern North Carolina. This low is moving to the north and pinwheeling around it are those showers and the increasing cloud cover. Now that will eventually stream into the area for our day tomorrow. We'll get a good chunk of the time early on dry before that chance increases. And we're also going to have the chances for precipitation through the next five days. It does go down a bit for Friday and Saturday, but quickly ramps back up on Sunday and Monday. I'll be sure to take you through that weekend outlook and help to paint a better picture for you, especially for your Sunday, which I know is Father's Day, and you may have a particular plans for that day. 61 degrees for us tonight. We have scattered clouds in place. It is a comfortable night ahead. We have the low humidity for now. That does change, though. 62 degrees at 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. We're in the mid-70s at noontime. There may be a stray shower out there at that point in time, but there will be a better chance for a few spotty showers or even a thunderstorm into the afternoon and early evening. So let me take you through that future cast for tomorrow specifically. There's 730 in the morning. Notice that we have a partly cloudy to maybe even a mostly sunny sky for some of us. Already starting to see some showers just to our south and east, south of the Columbus area. Those will pinwheel in and we'll have a few of them around at noon time. Keep your eye to along Interstate 75 and east. That's where we'll have the best chance for any isolated showers or storms to develop. But notice the coverage is quite low. There's not going to be a widespread chance for showers and storms. And even if we get a thunderstorm, it's only really going to produce an isolated heavy downpour or perhaps some gusty winds. No real potential for severe weather. Again, there's Interstate 75 at 8.30 tomorrow evening. Still dry west of that, so really is going to be a nice day for you out towards Greenville in the Eaton area. Showers dissipate, and then clouds will break as we get into tomorrow or not. Then on Friday, a repeat forecast for you. We're dry early on. Temperatures will warm. There may be an isolated downpour out there, but the chances are lesser than we saw on Thursday. We'll go mainly clear into Friday night. A nice way to finish up the week. As we get to the end of the week, though, we're really going to ramp up the heat and humidity. On Friday, our heat index value will be in the upper 80s. Then for Saturday, heat index value low 90s, as well as on Sunday. And it comes in just on time for the first day of summer which is actually on Saturday at 5.44 p.m. Great temperatures for uh, taking a dip in the pool or headed out to the lake Friday and Saturday. Sunday, we'll watch out, though. Not only is it warm and, it, and it's a good day to try and take a dip in the pool, but there's going to be that added potential for a shower or storm. So here's the weekend forecast. Saturday, notice we have plenty of sunshine early on and we'll stay mostly sunny throughout the day. Into Saturday night, we're falling from those 90s into the 80s and then down into the 60s eventually for an overnight low. On Sunday, it is mild, it is muggy, a cold front is moving into the area. We're dry with some clouds. They'll increase into the afternoon along with the threat for some showers and even a few thunderstorms. I'll be watching closely for the potential of any stronger storms with that front as it comes in. But it doesn't really knock our temperatures off too much. As you'll notice, highs are still in the 80s and upper 80s at that by Monday. So here's the five-day forecast for you tomorrow. We'll get up to about 81 degrees with a few afternoon thunderstorms, mainly east of 75. An isolated stray shower storm on Friday, back to the mid-80s. A hot one on Saturday, and we will be dry sunrise to sunset. Really, you'll have to think about a way to stay cool throughout the day. Showers and storms move in for the second half of Father's Day, and we'll have that chance for more storms, not only Monday, but Tuesday as well. Meteorologist Kirstie Zantini's up with you at 425, and she'll take a look at that threat for storms not only for Thursday, but as we head into the weekend. All right, McCall, a Hamilton County woman started the petition asking Kings Island to drop its requirement that people wear masks inside the park. In a Facebook post, the woman said if the park does not change its policies, it should refund people for their 2020 passes if they ask for it. Kings Island previously said passes would be good for the 2021 season, but would not give refunds for this season. At last check, that petition had more than 10,000 signatures. Right here in our area, this is at least the third golf course to close for good over the last couple of months. What this is going to do to a high school golf team. 